Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the first video of 2024. I've been doing this quite a while and it's so much fun to know that we're still here, what, maybe 12, 13 years later? It's been quite a while, but um, I couldn't do that many videos in December because unfortunately we had all sorts of illnesses. I managed to escape it, but quite a lot of people, especially Alan, did not escape it, so we couldn't do a lot of filming. So welcome to the first video of the new year and I thought we would start with something that many of you might have heard about. A lot of you might use them. Maybe you do the real deal and it's grounding and this is a grounding mat. And the grounding mat is new to me but the philosophy of grounding is not. Now before we talk about how you would use the grounding mat and how simple it is, remember that because it is a piece of equipment and you do need to use electricity, don't ever just buy one and use it without checking with your doctor or checking if you've got any contraindications. There are reasons if you're using this because it's plugged in, even though it's safe to use, if you've got anything, maybe even an implant, anything that would be affected by electricity, any conditions, do not just buy a grounding mat and get started on it straight away. Make sure that you're safe to use it. So, do you ever feel relaxed and completely de-stressed when you're on holiday and you're walking on the beach and you're connecting with the sand and you're just walking, enjoying the sunshine, enjoying the sea, enjoying the sand on your feet? It's just so relaxing. Well, that's grounding. That's connecting with the earth. If you're lucky, you might actually live somewhere where you can ground. That'd be fabulous. Um, some people might ground in their garden depending where you live in the world. If you've got a garden, some people will go out and they'll connect with the earth. Remember, it's got to be your bare feet and it's got to be for minimum 10 minutes. And a lot of people say that they make grounding with the earth part of their daily routine or their weekly routine. And again, there are so many benefits to it and we'll talk about that. But there are many of us who can't ground. Maybe you live in a flat. Maybe you actually don't have a garden. Maybe you're too busy. Maybe where you stay, it doesn't lend itself to that. I know for myself, um, I would love to be able to ground and I do have a garden. But what's not very convenient for me is that in Scotland, quite often it can be wet. And you can find that when you want to go onto the grass and ground, it's dark, it's muddy, it's damp, it's yucky. Um, sometimes in different seasons, especially in spring, I sometimes take a look out and I think, uh -uh, there's been too many pigeons flying about. I don't fancy my chances of grounding at the moment because I know that they've been going to the toilet a lot. So you think, no, I'm not grounding, not today. So I've tried to ground, but quite often than not for me, it was actually impractical because the weather wasn't on my side and I didn't really fancy going out onto the muddy grass, standing there, damp, cold, yucky, and then coming in with just disgustingly dirty feet. And I thought, well, that's not very relaxing. So you can buy a grounding mat. So as I say, grounding mats are new to me because I used to think, I still do actually, they can be very expensive. When you look online and you might look yourself at the moment, you can buy grounding mats, you can buy grounding stones, you can buy them to lie on your bed. This one is one that you can actually place on a bed. You can get different sizes or you can do what I'm doing, put your feet on it, put your hands on it, put your body on it. But the prices can be phenomenal. They can be 50 pounds, 100 pounds, even more. Sometimes you buy the mat and then you find out that you have to buy the wire and the plug separately. So I actually found this one on a reputable shop on eBay that had very good feedback. And they said that basically they do them so reasonably priced, just upwards of 20 pounds because they cut out the middleman. So do your research. Um, if you want me to link this one, I will. But yeah, um, it put me off how expensive they were. And I did think, right, I've got to do because I'm into my biohacking, but everyone's at different levels. I thought, right, I have to do this stage by stage. You can't buy everything. You can't afford everything. So very basically, for grounding, we've said about the reasons why you might find it difficult to ground. But why would you want to ground? So basically, it's about connecting again with the earth. Now, benefits of grounding. So you'll get people straight away that will say, nope, this is too far-fetched for me, I'm not on board, it's getting a little bit airy-fairy, I'm out. That's fine, that's your choice. But the people that enjoy doing it and get the benefits from it, 
believe that it can improve your sleep. It can really help to take your stress levels down. A lot of people say that it helps with your natural biorhythms. It can help with, again, when you get really stressed and your cortisol is high, and we all need cortisol, but a lot of people believe that it helps to regulate your cortisol and help get you ready for what you need in the daytime. You need that energy to push you through the day, but you also need that balance at night so your cortisol isn't sky high and you cannot sleep. That classic wired but tired and you just are tired but wired well it's both of them when you're tired but you're wired and you cannot sleep so it helps with that a lot of people say a lot say that it can help with inflammation so everyone's got inflammation in your body you need some inflammation but what happens in today's world is that they say that a lot of illnesses and ailments are because we've got too much inflammation so a lot say it can help with that can help with pain reduction Again, there are studies on it. I can link you to some studies. And a lot say, again, that it can help with your overall circulation, your well-being. If you've got any specific ailments, injuries, honestly, it's limitless what people use it for. It's about what you want to use it for and the benefits for you. Because you'll get people that swear by it and you'll get people that just do not believe it. Now, I actually saw one study that I thought was quite interesting And just to tell you about the abstract, because a lot of people, if I talk about something online, it can be aromatherapy or ear candling's a cracker. They hate the people that hate ear candling. Wow. They let you know. There are a lot of studies that actually talk about the effects of it. And I expected the studies to be on the fence. And there's one. And again, I'll link you to it. And it's in the National Library of Medicine. It's a study from 2015. The effects of grounding, they call it earthing, on inflammation, the immune response, wound healing and prevention and treatment of chronic inflammatory and autoimmune diseases. Now, just to go into the abstract at the beginning of the research, and the abstract is basically giving you the overview, I expected them to say it was negligible or they didn't really see a result. But without reading the entire abstract, it actually says, now let me find this little bit here. Multidisciplinary, disciplinary, I can't say that, multidisciplinary research has revealed that electrically conductive contact of the human body with the surface of the earth, which they call grounding or earthing, produces intriguing effects on physiology and health. And they talk about the effects relating to inflammation, immune response, wound healing, prevention and treatment of chronic inflammatory and autoimmune diseases. And then they say, if you skip to the bottom, Grounding reduces pain and alters the number of circulating neutrophils and lymphocytes and also affects various circulating chemical factors relating to inflammation. So they actually say here that they also believe that an experimental injury to muscles known as delayed onset muscle soreness has been used to monitor the immune response under grounded versus ungrounded conditions and they saw a result. So I'll link that to you, but I could go on and on and on about the benefits. You can also see blogs where people say that they didn't believe it and they gave it a try and they're converted. But to get to the point, how do you use it? So you'll see that the mat is actually rubberized. Now, why is it rubberized? It's because this provides insulation from electric shocks and it also makes it durable. So the reason that it's got to be rubberized is because you will be given your wire and you'll also be given your plug. And the plug's only got the earth pin, that all, that's all it needs because you're earthing yourself, you're grounding. They also say that it's rubberized because, again, it's a nice, easy material to use, but number one, it is safety. You also get your wire and you, depending on your mat, you'll just be literally clipping your wire into place and then turning it on. Now, they say that you can ground for about 10 to 40 minutes a day. Now, when someone's really into their grounding and they want to get the results, some people will actually use the grounding mat when they're just getting on with their day-to-day work. Some people will use it during sleep. So you're talking about up to eight hours. Um, I'm not sure about that at this stage because I don't like the thought of leaving anything electrical on. It's just not something I'm massively comfortable with, but each to their own. I can understand the effects, the benefits. Um, Some people will use a grounding mat when they're doing their meditation. So you really do have a lot of options. You can see how long this wire is. You've got a lot to it. So what I'll do now is clip this on. 
and then I will plug this in to the plug. Makes sense, doesn't it? Get myself in a tangle. So we'll plug this in and then let's plug it into the wall and I'll tell you exactly how it feels because some people feel nothing, some people feel a little tingle. So let's plug it in and see how we get on. So I've got the wire behind me. So you can see it right here. It's a really long wire. Now again, they might not all be like that, but that's number one, very handy for me because how often is that wire just a bit too short and you find yourself having to do extensions and then that's just another bit of stress and you need grounded even more. So turned it on, plugged it in and there is a very, very mild tingle and I mean the mildest possible. I only know there's a tingle there because I was feeling out for it, but arguably if you just used it and you weren't really thinking about it, you might not even notice, but it's just the most gentle tingle. I would say less than one on a scale of one to 10. It's just barely noticeable. But what you could do now is you could just sit and watch TV. You could read a book that you really want to get into, um, meditate, relax. Um, some people go for a nap. But what you're really doing is just helping to get that balance back. Um, a lot of people say that when they've got autoimmune disorders, when they've got an illness, that they use grounding because it's helping with the inflammation. And so many illnesses and ailments begin or are worsened through inflammation. So there was an interesting quote on a website, um, Healthline, and I thought this would make it the easiest to understand because obviously I am not an expert in grounding. It's just something that I knew I needed to add into my wellness routine, my little biohacking hacks that I want to do for myself. And it's, a, I believe it's a nurse practitioner called Deborah Sullivan. And the way that she frames it is, grounding or earthing mats create an electrical connection between your body and the earth. They replicate the physical connectivity one would make by walking barefoot on the ground. This connection allows electrons to flow from earth and into your body to create a neutral electrical charge. So it's all about getting back into that neutral space. So if you feel that you want to try and ground, but you know that walking outside is just not practical for you, if you don't have the time, if you don't have the facilities, or if you already ground, maybe you could look a little bit more into how you ground and when you ground, take it up a level. But it's an interesting one for me. I'm just at the beginning of my grounding journey from what I've read on various blogs. A lot of people say that it's after a week or two that you really start to feel that your sleep can be deeper. You can cope with the stresses that might normally make your nerves absolutely frazzled. You might find that any ailments that you've got begin to improve. I would love to know if you use grounding mats or you ground outside or if you're interested in using them because for me, this is something that I'm definitely going to add into my daily routine. So hope you enjoy this little deep dive, well it's sort of deep dive into grounding. Um, I felt it was an important one because stress doesn't go away, it just gets more and more intense as you get older, as the years go on it feels as if every year we start there's more stress on the news, more stress everywhere you go. So let's do what we can to take those stress levels down and look after ourselves. So I'd love to know your thoughts. I'll leave those links in the description box. You can tell me what you think. Have a great day and I'll see you again soon.